Hi everyone, my name is Jack Koenig. I work at Sci5, um, and I'm one of the maintainers of the Chisel and Fertile uh, projects. Uh, Chisel being a hardware description language embedded in Scala, um, and Fertile is a hardware compiler. Um, so just very briefly, well, going back one second, what am I talking about? I'm talking about what's new in Chisel, very briefly. So, um, uh, so first of all, I, I think many of you have heard of it, but many of you probably have not. So what is Chisel? It's a uh, hardware construction language, we like to call it, but a hardware description language embedded in Scala. The idea being that you have essentially a library of hardware components embedded in um, um, a very productive language, and then you can compose them together to construct your hardware. So you can think about it, you're not just describing hardware, you're writing a program that is describing the hardware in a way that is safe by using the uh, properties of Scala, which is a type safe, functional, and object oriented programming language. Um, we think that makes it easier to write you know, code that works and is maintainable. Um, if you want to learn more about that, I'm not talking about it here, so please see past talks from ORConf last year or from LatchUp. Um, there are other things on the internet. Um, so, very briefly, what's new? Um, so, we have a, our second release candidate for um, 3.2 out. So if you are using Chisel, please check it out because this is a big change from 3.1. If you're a rocket ship user, I, I think I have a PR or I have a branch where I have a bump kind of staged, so you should check that out and try it out before we uh, pull the trigger. <laughs> or maybe 3.2.1 will have to come out very soon. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Um, one of the big features that obviously people have asked for for a very long time is, is native asynchronous reset support. So that's there. And importantly, you can describe things in a way that's agnostic to the type of reset, so it would not be very useful if the standard library were all one type of reset or the other. So most things can be written such that they work under both. Um, some nice things for people who are doing more advanced stuff, we have staged compilers, which make it easier to construct a multi-phase compiler with custom stuff in there. Uh, I, if any of you have heard of the Midas or Firesome projects from Berkeley, they are taking advantage of this right now to make their stuff easier to use in isolation. Um, we have this type safe, in quotes, aspect-oriented programming, which is um, Adam Israelovitz's PhD work. I don't want to call it aspect-oriented programming because that's kind of has a bad connotation for those who have experienced it before. This is inspired by it. It is not aspect-oriented, um, but it has it's type safe and allows you to write um, a really important goal of Chisel and what we do is that we want you to be able to describe the functionality of your hardware separate from the implementation in silicon or on FPGA. And this allows you to do that by separating out your logic for you know clock domains, power domains, things like that. Not clock domains, sorry, but that's functional, but like power domains. Um, we have a new website um, using the dash lang. I think Clash does the same. That's what all the popular new languages do. Um, we have better and extended API docs and expanded well, um, standard library. Thanks.